Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. In this video, we will see the solution for Science Journal for Standard 7, Experiment Number 8. To prove that air exerts pressure, the apparatus and materials are tin can with a lid, Bunsen burner, tripod, wire gaze, and shallow metallic vessel. And the substances to be used are water. And you need to draw the same figure on the right hand side. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel till now, please do subscribe it for more videos. So, we will be continuing with the procedure. Take a tin can with a lid. Open its lid. Now, fill it approximately half with water. Heat the can on Bunsen burner as shown in the figure. Let the water to boil for a few minutes till steam comes out. Keep the can down and immediately put the lid tightly on the can. Be careful in handling the hot tin. Put the can carefully in a shallow metallic vessel, pour cold water over the can, observe what happens to the shape of the can. Observation is, the can gets crushed and its shape gets distorted. Reason for happening is, on pouring cold water over the can, the water vapor inside gets cooled and converts into water. The water so formed occupies less space than that by the water vapor. So the air pressure inside decreases, the air pressure outside the can is more than that inside, that's why the can gets crushed. And the conclusion is, air exerts pressure. Now test your knowledge, uh, first question is MCQs, first one, what is the effect on air pressure if wind velocity increases, its option will be decreases. Second, cold air is heavier than warm air, its option number A. Third. How many hours in advance is a cyclone warning issued? It's option number C, 24 hours. Now, question number 2, that is fill in the blanks. First one, winds are generated due to unequal heating on the earth. Second, near the earth's surface, hot air rises up whereas cold air comes down. Third, air moves from a region of high pressure to a region of low pressure. Fourth, cyclone is called a hurricane in the American continent. Fifth, monsoon winds from the oceans carry water vapor and bring rain. Sixth, an instrument called anemometer is used for measuring the speed of wind. And here we come to the end of experiment number 8. I hope you have understood the complete experiment. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.